So my friend Domo Dude actually made a really good video about breeding and other mechanics in Pokemon. And that made me realize something. I think there's so much unrest in the Pokemon community because Pokemon is a very different game to very different people. Like, first of all, it's an RPG, and for people who are concerned with story-based RPGs, they're gonna want it to have a good story. But then it's also a collection game, a game where the point is to catch and collect all the Pokemon, and that has completely different mechanics and completely different things that makes it good from a story-based RPG. Then there's the breeding, and the breeding has a lot in common with a crafting game, and that has a completely different set of elements that will make it good or bad, depending. Then there's trading, which actually makes Pokemon something of an economics-based game. Then there's battling versus other people, which makes it something of a competitive PvP turn-based strategy. So I think we're all really heavily opinionated on which Pokemon is the best Pokemon, because we're all looking for very different things in a Pokemon game. And that doesn't even begin to factor in stuff like fan challenges, like Nuzlocks, or randomizers. And I think one of the things that the Pokemon fan base is going to have to come to terms with is that certain games are going to appeal to certain different parts of the fan base. Like Ruby and Sapphire and Black and White were very heavily story focused, but Sword and Shield was very multiplayer and collection focused. And then you have spin offs like Let's Go or the new Arceus spin off. And I think if we stop looking at Pokemon as a monolith, we might be able to both enjoy it and critically analyze it a little bit better. Because Pokemon sequels aren't necessarily sequels. Pokemon is kind of like a lot of different game lines all masquerading as one.